Well, hello, my friends. It's Wayne Polson coming to you again from Hartwood to my left, SM Heartland to my right. And I have something cool to show you today. So why don't you uh, take your shoes off, have a seat, sit back and relax, and follow along with me here. All right. Whoops, it's this way. <laughs> Observe the knot. This side of the knot has two parallel lines. This is the such a time saver. That's it. I don't need anything else. I want to introduce you to our new family additions. This is Scout. I'm not sure if he's 11 or 12 years old, but uh, this is uh, officially Susie's little horse. He's a new family member. And then back here, back up, Scout. Back up, back up, back up, buddy. Eat some hay. Right here, we have Rusty. Rusty, come along here. Say hi to the folks, Rusty. Oh, Rusty is officially my horse. Isn't he cool? Aren't you? You're a cool guy, aren't you? Aren't you, Rusty? Yeah, these are our new additions, folks. Go back and eat your hay. Come on, come on. Good boy. Come back. Good. So, um... So folks, we, uh, we did it. We did what Susie has been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, she finally got her horses and uh, it was a little bit of an ordeal. They were about two and a half hours away from here. We had to rent a horse trailer. We didn't own a horse trailer, so we had to rent one of those things. Um, so it was a good uh, six, seven hour trip for us, well, round trip. And we are on our way to Xenia, Ohio to pick up two horses. We just stopped to pick up a rental trailer here. So are you excited? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> Today we bring home two geldings, right? Yes. Yeah. And hopefully they like their new home. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Uh, we're on a road trip to Xenia, Ohio. We stopped to get gas here. We're about 20 minutes, I think, from uh, picking up the horses. So just wanted to check in with you, let you know we're on track. Still. Yeah, we're still moving. This is Scout with yes. Susie. Yes, and he's a little excited. Are you excited to be coming to my house? Got a new home coming up. Are you excited? Are you excited? We gotta put a little bit of meat on his bones, huh? And there's Rusty. Yeah, I'd be swimming too. Alrighty. All right, we're headed back to uh, Newcomers Town, Ohio. Yep. <laughs> What's going on here, folks? We stopped about halfway. Uh, oh, now Scout's pooping. Um, it's only it's not on this side; it's the other nostril. How you doing there, Scout? Hey, Rusty, how you doing? Look at me. Look at Is me. Is it still there? Can't tell. No, not really. It's gone. Oh, well, that's good and bad, though. Well, because what was it? So, yeah. So we stopped about halfway back from uh, Xenia, and Scout had um, it's, it's snotty okay. nose. Yeah, it's not as snotty now, though. It looks like he cleared it. It's still. Is it still? A little. I mean, he's licking it. Can you see it? Yeah, it's clear actually. It's clear now. Let me get a picture. He's looking actually pretty pretty good right now. Yeah, so maybe he just had a big booger. All right, we made it home. Uh, so while I was at the feed store, I guess I was talking about the about Scott's um, snotty nose. Scout's snot <laughs> Scott's snouty nose. <laughs> Scout's snotty nose. And it looks like he licked it out. We're gonna keep an eye on it though. Susie's concerned. Yep, we're gonna let him out. What'd you think? Ah, oh, what do you think? Are you trying to figure out where you are? I think uh Rusty wants yep, out. Yep, I think Rusty wants out. Look. 
Good boy. Here we are, buddy. Here we are. This is Rusty. Looks like he's hungry. All right, so this one here with the prissy halter, uh, this is Rusty, this is my horse. And this one here with the ribs, this is Scout. This will be Susie's. And, uh, we're happy, Susie's very happy. It's been nonstop though. We spent a couple of days getting this little mini pasture set up. It's, we call it temporary, but honestly, it may end up being more permanent. We may replace the T posts with um, with a wooden post eventually here, uh, but right now this is what we have. Now, what where we have this pasture located is in what we called the war zone after the power company had installed all of our electric for SM Heartland, and and so we've taken a chunk of it here and we have converted it into pastures. So there's not much grass here, but beyond this, there is a pipeline that runs east and west across our property. We have another fenced in area there with, a lots, with lots of uh, luscious green grass for them. So we'll walk them through the woods and uh, let them uh, get some nourishment there. We're also feeding them hay uh, to supplement their diet. But uh, this is the area that we put in for them about a week ago. There is the Hartwood Manor right there. And that's pretty much the extent of it. It's an electric fence. It's a solar powered energizer. So uh, uh, we don't have to have electricity out here. We do have a water hose that reaches here to the tank to give us water. We're working at building um, in this area right here as I get to this general location. Um, so somewhere right in here, we want to put a run in for them. Right now, this car canopy thing that we have is a temporary sunshade for them and it keeps their hay dry. So uh, that's, that's why it's, it's kind of temporary here, folks. Um, but we do have plans to expand this area for them. So I have been moving dirt up here to kind of create a level area. The dirt has been coming from this area behind our garage. And if you notice over there, don't mind me, I'm just closing the gates while I continue talking. But if you notice down there, there are a couple automobiles and a, and a boat. So we have a guy coming tomorrow morning who is gonna haul off those two cars and possibly even the boat. Uh, we got permission from the previous owners of the property to go ahead and move the vehicles and dispose of them without, uh, without the titles. Uh, she still has the titles, and, um, but she wants, uh, she wants the money for them, so we're gonna let her have the money. What we get in return is the space, so we're gonna get that back. But so I've been removing dirt from this area and moving it up to the uh, location for the run-in. We have, that little dog house is filled with hay right now, and we probably have about uh, 14, 15 bales of hay on that trailer. So I got to move that trailer, I got to move that doghouse, and then I'm gonna use the tractor to pull these vehicles out from behind the garage and have them ready for the gentleman to pick up in the morning.
that's no good. Pull the trailer hitch right off of it. So that was car number two. Now I gotta go back and get the boat. Um, I'll have all these out here in this area lined up so that when the guy comes tomorrow with the trailer, he'll just be able to load them up and uh, give us the money and go. So that'll be nice, won't it? All right. Uh, I don't know, there might be more footage. Let's see what happens.
Well, all right, friends, there you have it. Man, it is stinking humid here in Ohio today. Got up to be like 90 degrees, I think it was, something like that. But it wasn't the heat so much as it was that gush darn humidity, you know. It's that, that stickiness, you know. You got your clothes stick to you, your underwear sticks to you, all that kind of stuff just sticks to you. Yeah, so, whew. But uh, as you can see, folks, it's done. We got the boat, we got the two vehicles. All we're missing right now is the guy with the trailer for tomorrow morning, but uh, he should be here sharp and early. We'll get these things loaded up, get them out of our way. The back of the garage will become a place for us to uh, store tractor implements that I'm now keeping out here, which is just an eyesore. Uh, so we'll get some gravel put back there and uh, we're gonna take more dirt out, of course, for the, uh, uh, for the run-in for the horse shelter. So we'll, uh, we'll take care of that. Forgive me, folks, I, I'm just a slimy mess. So, well, friends, that's it. That's it from Heartwood today. I'm gonna let you go. I gotta go. Be kind out there, folks. We have no choice. We have to be kind. These are, we're in a crisis time right now. So your kindness will make a difference in the world. Believe me, it will. You know it will. And I'll do my part as well. All right, I'll see you guys somewhere in another video. Yeah, well, we're